I was watching a reel on grounding and centering. I assume you have questions. <laughs> yes. Sure, go ahead. Is there any magical practice where grounding and centering or GNC is absolutely essential? Grounding and centering is important in every magical practice for a simple reason. For the spellcaster, it's important that their focus is 100%. And when they are working with that particular spell, they are in the moment in mind, body and spirit. Usually, the most popular form of magic that grounding and centering is practiced in is Wicca. But other than that, here at Rakaina, we use GNC for every form of magic. Is GNC only practiced when you have a low vibe? Not necessarily. It's recommended, yes, but not always. If you ground and center yourself consistently uh, on a regular basis, then uh, you don't need to wait for the vibe to go low. But for some reason, if you miss it and you're not able to do it, and it's, the practices are very simple. You don't even realize when you're grounding and centering. But if you feel that your vibrational frequency is a little lesser than normal, then you can go ahead and add one or two more uh, GNC practices. But I would highly advise that everybody, whether they are practicing magic or not, should do it on a regular basis. You mentioned walking bare feet on grass mm -hmm. and resting against a tree trunk yes. to meditate as some GNC practices. Is there anything else we can do without stepping out of our home and staying indoors? There are many, many things that you can do. Uh, I'll give you the baseline. So when you're walking on grass, bare feet, right? The blades of grass are touching your feet. It's even considered to be very, very good for health, not just for grounding and centering. When your back is against the tree, you're connecting with nature. Anything in which there is a connection with any of the elements, air, earth, water, fire and spirit is good for you. You're washing your hands with tap water, that's grounding and centering, believe it or not. Uh, you're chanting, grounding and centering because you're connecting with spirit. You are uh, like what I'm doing right now. I'm grounding and centering because I'm working with fire, candles, right? Um, aromas, um, when you light a dhoop, a garbati, incense stick um, or if you're smudging with sage. A scented you're, candle? Yes, a scented candle, like this one is sage and eucalyptus, one of our favorites. We ground and center. Um, if you are uh, <coughs> doing your deep breathing, in India we call it pranayam, deep breathing, stomach, chest, diaphragm and the throat, that is also grounding and centering. Anything that makes you feel better as you combine you as an element to the other outside five elements is allowed. You can practice it. And like the question itself said, you don't need to step out outside your house. How is grounding and centering energy related? Everything is energy related, especially grounding and centering. When you are grounding and centering yourself, you essentially are doing it to increase your vibrational frequency. And vibrational frequency is all about your energy. So when you are trying to go through any practice or practices of GNC, you are working on your energy levels, on your electromagnetic waves, on your capacity to create a reality that is better. So if you are not feeling good enough, you have, if you're thirsty, you have a glass of water, you feel better, right? If your hands are dirty, you wash it, your hands are better. Uh, if you feel that you haven't slept enough, then you uh, take a quick nap. Uh, 40 winks like they say and you feel better gnc is like that it's directly related to your energy levels and how it makes you feel better purely because it increases your levels of energy why is aligning your mind body and spirit so important alignment equals to the confidence that you have in creating a balance for the spell that is being cast so alignment of mind, body and spirit, these are not three things. These are the same things in one person. One being as you are made up of mind, body and spirit. You think from the mind, 
you feel from the heart right so you can't think from the heart and feel from the mind it doesn't work like that so when you align the logic of the mind the emotion of the heart and the effort and the work of the spirit you will definitely feel the result you want acceleration you will get it you want result you will get it anything you want is possible providing that balance is created between the three and that's why it's so important so these are the five questions um, pertaining to the topic which is what's the topic gnc gnc grounding and centering right don't underestimate it this is a very very important thing for you whether you spell cast or not whether you're a normal person a mundane or somebody from the occult world if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to write it in the section below the comment section uh, and uh, thank you for watching see you at rakhaina Thank you.